and we're just going to plug it into this camera. No batteries, just an external battery source. And then we're going to see if it works. Turn it on. Boom! So you want to add an external battery to your trail camera, but you don't have a plug? I'm going to show you a way around it. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Well, a little background on this video. I recently ordered a brand new trail camera by Wild Game. It's 360. I thought it'd be a cool thing to use this in full in the my food plots to get a idea of what's going on in a full circle. And I wanted to make sure that it had a 12 volt external plug when I ordered it. So I went on to Wild Game's uh, website. I looked at the video for this camera and on the video it shows the bottom of this camera and it says it has a 12 volt uh, plug on it. But you can see what I'm seeing is right there. There is no plug in this camera. So I get it in the mail. I look at it and I'm like, there's no plug in this camera. And that is a quarter inch mounting screw right there. Um, but there's no plug in this camera. So Wild Game needs to update their website. And uh, second of all, this is going to cause me to have to direct wire in a plug so that I can uh, plug in an external battery source. And I'm going to directly wire the plug right into the battery pack and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Alright so your most critical step in direct wiring into a trail camera is to figure out what your internal operating voltage is off of your battery pack. Just because your camera might have a 12 volt external plug on it does not mean that the internal voltage that it runs on is 12 volts from the battery pack. So you got to remember we're wiring to the battery pack. So whatever the battery pack is, we have to match that and then uh, match that with the external battery source coming into the camera so that we don't burn the camera up. So I've got an old Browning strike force here and I'm just going to show you that, you know, it has a 12 volt external plug. And when I pop the battery pack out of it, you'll see that it's got six double A batteries in it. So each double A battery is 1.5 volts. So six times 1.5, I'm at nine volts with this battery pack. And when I test this, I get nine volts. So this is a nine volt battery pack, a little more difficult to match with external battery power uh, because you have to kind of uh, down regulate a 12 volt battery to nine volts. I'll show you how to do that. And then you can run it into a, a camera like this if your camera is nine volts. So I don't need to do that with this Browning because I have the plug, thank goodness. So I'm just showing you as an example how that can be different. Now with this wild game, when you uh, take a look at this, this battery pack actually comes out. It has eight AA batteries in it. So based on what I just told you guys about the other AA batteries, 1.5 per battery, volts per battery, times eight batteries, you're at 12 volts. But that doesn't mean that your camera runs on internal uh, 12 volts because the way that they have this battery pack wired, it actually only runs on half of that voltage, which is six volts. And that's why you need to test your battery pack to figure out what your internal uh, voltage is for your camera. So I'm gonna show you how to test these and we're gonna wire it up and uh, uh, get it done. All right, so let me show you now how to uh, test the internal battery pack to figure out what your voltage is. So if you take your battery pack out and you take a look around on it, you're gonna find these little metal contacts somewhere on the battery pack. So I got one right here and I got one right there. And that's where this battery pack makes contact with the internal part of this camera when you slide it in. So we're gonna test the voltage in a second and show you that that's a nine volt pack. So on this one, it's a little different. That's why I'm showing you a couple of examples because they're all going to be different. Um, but you got to look for these little metal contacts. So this one in the middle is, is, is the ground and the ones on the outside are the uh, positives. And you can see them there. And uh, that's what we're going to work with when we do our direct wiring. All right, so let's check the voltage now. All right, so we got nine volts on this battery pack. That's perfect. And then we'll move over to this battery packed pack and right there make contact with those two and boom I got six volts coming out of this battery pack. All right it's time to talk about what you're going to need cable wise to complete this direct uh, setup. So this is a cable that I found on Amazon. It's a great uh, cable. It comes with a male 
end and a female end and this one is three foot long now you can get them in longer lengths if you look for them um, you can get them in six foot eight foot i think ten foot but these cables fit trail cameras because what you're looking for is a 2.1 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter plug that's what fits trail cameras and it fits all of them so what you'll find it on online if you look for trail camera plugs or cables um, you're going to find stuff like this i've recommended the stealth cam wire before this one's 10 feet long with the trail camera plug and the spades for the battery on the end but this one on amazon now is nearly 13 dollars so it's gotten really expensive since i've started doing videos when I first started this one was like seven bucks so I'm looking for cheaper alternatives and I found these and you can buy these for like uh, packs of ten for like eight dollars um, or packs of two for like six bucks um, but it's it's like either less than a dollar a cord or two or three dollars a cord you can get away with finding a better deal on these and these will fit your trail cameras what's nice about this is you're gonna take this cord and you're gonna cut it about for me it was about five inches back from the female end and this is going to wire directly into our trail camera battery pack and then this is going to our power source and then we're just going to plug these in so that's what that's how we're going to wire it it's going to work perfect when we're done and this is the same thing they'll fit all the rest of your trail cameras and it's a good deal so let's get this thing wired up and then the reason I cut it this distance is because I'm going to install this plug right here up against that and I'm going to secure it on the other side with a zip tie so that it won't pull through and then I'm going to wire these two wires underneath this contact for the ground and under that contact for the positive positive. and let me show you now what I mean about these contacts so I'm gonna dump the batteries out <clears throat> and you'll see that these little things sometimes will just fall out now these are just your contacts that slide in if you see there's a little slide right there and these things just slide back in they snap back in and you can see on this one right here if I just pull it out I'll just pull it out see and then just stick it back down right so a lot of times these just slide out and what you're going to do is where you can take a uh, very small screwdriver with a nice fine blade on it and um, you can stick it find little spots like right there and we're just going to twist it a little bit and it will pop up that see it raised up just a hair and I'm going to raise it just a little bit more perfect and then I'll probably I'm going to use this side over here on the positive I'm just going to raise that up just a little bit and now because of that little gap in there we're going to slide our wire right underneath there and then we're going to press it back down when we're done and slide it into the camera after we get it all mounted and secured so the reason i'm i've got this marked right here for my cable to lay right here because when my batteries are in there i want that cable um, to lay flush down in this crease right here going to the back because what's going to happen if you don't get that cable flush it's going to hit when it slides into your trail camera and then when it goes into your trail camera if it doesn't clear right there your trail camera door won't shut or it won't slide closed so we're gonna have to cut a little groove in there for that uh, cable to lay right there that's perfect so now what I've got to do is trim my wire ends to get them to go under the tabs and I'm going to cut these a little further back so that I can double them up underneath the metal contact so lift this one up I'm gonna lift that one up I'm gonna plug this one in from this side just like that I'm gonna press it down to secure it it's nice and secure I'm going to pick this one up enough to get it under there. See it slide right under there? It just slid right under that tab. I'm going to press that down. They're a little loose, so I'm going to try to crimp them just a little bit. 
cramp this one just a little bit. Now, when you plug this into the camera, it's going to tighten them because they press against the contacts. So let's see if it works. There's no batteries. We're going to plug it in, see what happens. So, plug it all the way in. Snap it closed. Oh, that's nice and firm. I like that. Perfect. Nice. All right, so what I got, guys, is I just got an old 6-volt battery that I don't use anymore. Um, and I've got just a normal trail camera cord like we talked about, a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter. And we're just going to plug it into this camera. No batteries, just an external battery source. And then we're going to see if it works. Turn it on. Boom! There you go. Now you've got external battery power with no batteries inside. Now you can still run batteries inside, it's alright. But you can run this to a solar panel backed up with a battery and have a full-time battery all the time working on this camera, filling this uh, camera up with pictures. So, so that works guys, that's all you got to do. Let's talk about powering options for a 6 volt camera like that. You guys saw that I just hooked this up at 6 volt. I don't use this uh, size battery anymore. I don't use any 6 volt stuff. But I just connected it to a trail camera cord and plugged it in and it worked. So that's one option is you could stay with 6 volt and you could get a 6 volt uh, solar panel and uh, keep it all running. You could do that. But I'm not going to do that just for one camera. What I do have is a lot of these um, batteries, these 12 volt batteries, because I tend to run all my other cameras that have 12 volt external plugs on them with 12 volts um, batteries. So I have these in, in battery boxes all around the farm. So um, what I did is I downregulated this 12 volt battery to with a 6 volt regulator and uh, the power coming out of the plug going to the camera is now 6 volts. So what you're going to do, and I'll put this in the description, but uh, you take a, a, a little 6 volt regulator like that. I wrote a 6 on the back because I, I have 12 volts too and they all look the same. And I can't read that little tiny writing on them anymore so I have to uh, mark on them which is which. So basically the with the fat belly part up like that, uh, the red wire coming in from the left is from your battery and the uh, black wire in the middle is from your battery as well and then your black wire from your cord going to your camera is is uh, in the middle with the common ground as well. So you put both blacks together in the middle and then the outside one out here is your hot going to your plug as well. So uh, you'll end up with six volts at the plug. Let's give it a try and these things are cheap. You can get them on Amazon and I'll leave all that in the description for you guys. So let's see if it works running a 12 volt battery into a 6 volt camera that's regulated with a regulator. All right. So we got it plugged in. Oh, and by the way, all the batteries are still over there, so there's no batteries in here. It's just straight out power. Boom, it came on. You can see the plug lit up there for just a second, and right there it says full battery. So, right there in the bottom right-hand corner. So I got full battery. There's no batteries in here. Matter of fact, I'll just prove it to you. I'm just going to unplug it. It's going to shoot it off. See, there's no batteries in there, my friends. Well, guys, that's it. I got my plug installed. It works. It's nice and firm. It gives me something to hold on to when I plug and unplug. I really like it. So we'll see if I like the camera we'll try it out and give it a trial run and give you guys an update in the future on that but there's no batteries in here this is going to be running on an external battery uh, pack powered by solar so uh, that'll work out real nice keep a couple things in mind as you do this project first of all make sure you know what your internal battery pack voltage is and no matter where you end up with that whether it's 12 volt 9 volt or 6 volt just remember that you can get these little voltage regulators on Amazon and I'll leave these all in the description for you, all the different voltages. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Just a real big benchmark that we just passed on our channel. Thanks to all of you guys as we just passed 1 million 
one million watched minutes on our uh, YouTube channel. So that's really cool that you guys tune in over the last year and watched a million minutes on our channel. So thank you guys. Love you, man. I really appreciate you guys. And we'll have some more projects coming here in the near future. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Take care.